when you reject a narcissist sexually, this is the most probable things that might happen. Getting into a love relationship with a narcissist can be tough. We may find ourselves in a situation that we believe is detrimental to our well-being, but sadly we only realize it after everything is too late. Narcissists are unable to take criticism without blaming the person who has made the rejection on their own shortcomings. They obsessively focus on their own needs and desires, ignoring the sentiments and desires of others. A narcissist frequently appears self-centered and only cares about getting what they want. To them, everything is theirs for the taking, and they constantly strive to be the best in every aspect of their lives. Because they feel entitled to everything, they're prone to overreacting. Being the best of everything is important to narcissists in order to mask their flaws, and they need to be acknowledged at all times. A narcissist's goal is to be flawless in every aspect. They have an overinflated sense of self-importance. Therefore, they're constantly on the lookout for a victim to feed their attention-seeking tendencies. A narcissist's deep-seated fear of being rejected can cause them to become upset if we try to distance ourselves from them. If we say no to a narcissist, they'll be disappointed in us since they expect us to be accessible all the time. Instead of acting immediately or in an evident manner, they will wait until the most acceptable time to express their anger. The same thing also applies if you're rejecting a narcissist sexually. This is what is most likely to happen. But before I get into that, I just wanted to start off by expressing my appreciation to everyone who took the time to watch this video. I'd like to send you an invitation to contribute to the growth of this channel by forwarding this video to any of your friends or family members. Please subscribe to this channel if this is your first time here so that you don't miss out on any future updates that you might find interesting. Let's begin. 1. They have little interest in your feelings, so they'll play along and wait for the right time to strike. Narcissism is frequently accompanied by a lack of empathy. A lack of empathy doesn't necessarily imply a person is unable to understand the feelings of others in any way. It's possible, however, that they don't give much thought to how their actions can affect others. They may even come across as oblivious to the feelings of those around them. A narcissistic partner typically has the attitude that nothing else matters as long as they get what they want. This is because they have a lack of empathy for anyone but themselves. Every one of your encounters with them could be pre-planned to the smallest detail. If you're having sex, they'll advise you what to do, how you should position yourself, and what to say when you're in bed together. It's as if they don't care about your point of view or the potential that you might want to try something else. You may begin to perceive yourself as an object rather than a partner. Even if you reject them and try to state your reason, they won't take it, but they'll not instantly express their anger. They'll bid their time until it's the right moment to get back at you. 2. Rejecting them sexually leads to narcissistic rage. Narcissists hate rejection. They'll insist on getting what they want. They may resort to emotional outbursts or even abuse if you keep rejecting them. Sexual performance is the major satisfaction in which sexual narcissists are able to inflate their feeling of self-worth. Therefore, if you reject them sexually, they're likely to respond emotionally. You may expect them to beg you with all the cries and tears and make it like every mistake is on you. Eventually, narcissists are likely to lash out at you if you refuse to have sex with them or give in to their sexual demands several times. They may even try to manipulate you or force you into doing so. Expect all kind of drama and hysterical expressions they'll throw at you to make you feel bad about rejecting them because they'll make everyone think that you betray them, don't love them, or even cheat on them. 3. Even though it's your decision, your narcissistic partner will make you feel guilty for stating your concern. Narcissists and sexuality have another thing in common. They'll likely make you feel guilty if you express your own needs or preferences when you're in a relationship. It's possible that they'll accuse you of being high maintenance or selfish if you don't comply with their requests. There's a chance they might say anything along these lines to you. So, it's not merely about sex anymore, it's because you have hurt their pride, and they'll do anything to get back their pride. 4. The narcissist will provide you unfavorable feedback about your sex life. Someone who is sexually narcissistic may criticize your bedtime performance in an effort to make you feel inferior and hence get more power over your life. 
People with narcissistic personalities are driven by a constant urge to prove their superiority over others in order to deal with their own feelings of inadequacy. Your performance was not up to standard or even really bad. They may even bring up this matter to everyone to embarrass you. Really, they'll do all sorts of things to humiliate you as revenge for hurting their pride. The capacity to exhibit dominance over their partners is one of the factors that can turn on a narcissist during sexual relations, and it also triggers them if you reject them. This is because when it comes to how you are feeling, they aren't really concerned. 5. Even if it's not true, they'll accuse you of everything you aren't. These people are skilled at fabricating stories about you in order to paint a dismal picture of who you really are. They'll make people think that you're a cold-hearted, sexually deviant, sexually repressed, and generally undesirable person. To ensure that you're the one to blame, they will search for a new supply source to prove their sexual attractiveness to you and the rest of the world. When they see that you're second-guessing your decision to reject them, they may hoover you again for sex only in an effort to drop you as a punishment for what you did to them. I sincerely hope that the information that was provided was enlightening. Please share your opinions in the comment section below, and if you want to make sure that you don't miss any of the new videos that are uploaded to this channel in the future, consider subscribing and make sure that the bell icon is turned on. Thank you.